Hello, and today I'm going to do a video on masks that may actually contain asbestos. So I've got a pocket microscope, so I can have a very primitive check and try and work out if they do or not. And the masks in question are the Nazi Germany VM37 and VM40 civilian gas masks or respirators. So, if I get my VM40 out, I should hopefully be able to show you the bit I think may be asbestos. So, inside the mask... There's this kind of thing like that around the uh, valves, and that's the bit I think might be asbestos, because as you can see on this mask, it's starting to get a bit torn. Um, is, I can't show that to the camera in a really um, sort of easy way, but hopefully I might be able with the pocket microscope to actually take a look and uh, see. So, obviously I've got the 3M mask on, in case this is actual asbestos. But there's no sort of ideal way of really looking at this. It is fully zoomed out at the moment. Uh, let me see if I can get the straps around the front of the mask for this. This was a requested video, so apologies, I'm only just getting around to doing it, but I got reminded the other day somebody chasing up whether I'd done the video or not, and I said, oh yeah, I better actually do it. So... Okay, I'm zoomed in on it now, and it does look fairly, um, the fibres do look fairly, um, sort of barbed, not like cotton wool does, so I have a feeling this may in fact be asbestos. Let me fully zoom this in. I mean, I know you're not going to see any of this on camera, but I really ought to get around to buying one of those um, kind of electric microscopes that you can plug in via USB at some point. The annoying thing is on the fully zoomed in mode, I can't get it to focus on the uh, fibres. Right, let's put this one down and get to the other mask, and I'll show you one that's sort of intact. But as you can see, it's that stuff there, which I think might be the asbestos. Um, I could do something really stupid and try and lift it out, but I won't do that just yet. Okay, so this one's the VM37, and this one's a bit more intact, despite it being the older mask. Um, again, it's going to be quite hard to show you. There we go. See, the ring on this one looks a lot more intact, but I imagine that's going to be even harder to get the microscope on it. Now, I don't actually really know why they put asbestos there, and whether or not it's just to absorb a bit of sweat or something. Let me do something really stupid now. Yep, that comes out. I don't think you actually need that in the mask, then. Um... Because it seems like, hang on, it seems like that was just in there to kind of be like a factory kind of thing. There's still some loose fibres in there, which isn't great. Um, but anyway, now I've got this out, and I know people are like, oh, you should be using gloves of asbestos. I always wash my hands straight away afterwards. Uh, let's see if, um, you know, I can actually see anything of interest on here. Yeah, that looks a lot like, uh, is it chrysotile? Or white asbestos? Now, sadly, I bet this won't actually focus the camera. Uh, yeah, sadly, I don't think you're going to be able to see that um, on the camera. But, to me, this does look a lot like asbestos. Oh, look, it's flaking off in my hand. You see, this is the danger of asbestos. Um, really shouldn't be disturbed. Oh, there's some dead bugs on it. Yeah, that's quite interesting. I wonder what kind of bugs they are. Look like some kind of fleas. 
or something. Yeah, it's quite interesting. But yeah, to my mind, this looks a lot like asbestos. But again, sadly, I don't think you actually see anything through the camera because I don't think it will be able to focus. But yeah, I'm pretty certain this is asbestos with dead bugs on it. So, um,. I'm going to put that back in its thing now, because as you can see, it's already flaking onto my hand, which is uh, the great thing about asbestos, isn't it? That it flakes everywhere. So, now I've got some flakes on my skin. Let's see if I can look at that under the microscope. Yep, there are asbestos fibres very clearly on my hand. Um, yeah, that's not great. They are definitely asbestos fibres uh, there. So, I'm going to very thoroughly wash my hands now. Uh, then I'm going to try and safely pack those masks away. But I am pretty certain that German VM37 and VM40 gas masks contain some sort of asbestos insert. I'm not sure what it does, but I'd highly advise you not to breathe through them even if you swap the filters to a modern filter because yeah looks like there is actually asbestos um in there and as you can see there's one of the bits of it stuck on my hand now